people of YouTube, my name is Steve Gray, this is Gray's Guitars, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future guitar and music related videos. So before we get into the video, which I'm sure you're already interested in by the title, perhaps, we are going to be talking about what I am doing new. So I, my laptop camera system and a microphone decided to start working again. So instead of using my uh, actual microphone that's hooked into the, the uh, camera or my cell phone, we're going to try just using the <coughs> laptop's microphone and see how this goes. So the title of this video, as you can see, is, is the guitar community toxic? And to a certain extent, yes. To a certain extent, no. So I have for you on this page basically a bunch of comments um, that you can see from some previous videos. Now keep in mind, I don't try to lie in any of my videos, um, or I, I do a little clickbaity title sometimes, but typically if I have a clickbaity title, the description will say uh, something like, oh, this is a first impression. Uh, for instance, Let's just, uh, so we'll start with the good one. Let's start with the good and then progressively get better. It says, take a look at the shipping. Uh, freaking DHL, UPS, FedEx rates have gone out of sight. And, it, you know, I'll, I'll reply to it. I'll like to it as much as I can. You know, if it's something I see, it's not something I always see all the time. But I, I haven't in a while, but I can imagine it's getting really high. So now here, let's, let's go to a bad one here. So this was my recent video, like my first impression video of the Harley Benton new SE Custom 2 guitar. Uh, just kind of me looking over it, me putting a link in the description to go take take a look and check it out, and etc. It looks like a decent playing guitar. I like the finishes, especially that silver versed finish, and it just looked like a nice playing guitar. And, and in the description, let's just go to it, just so I can show you exactly what it says. Do, do, do. We'll just pause that. And look, first impression of new lineup. So it is definitely a first impression video. It's not saying I own the guitar. Never did I say, I did not say anywhere that I own this guitar, that I played this guitar, that it was in my hands. This was a first impression video, and I have done a few of those first impression videos before. So let's just go back here to my comments. And this guy said, can you please stop doing videos of gear you don't have? Everyone is beeped. Check your like dislikes. Please come back when you've got something to say and not air. Okay, fatty? Well, that, that was nice. And I said, well, that was nice. And how about you learn how to read the description? Uh, so I, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to take the bait for the troll a little bit. Sometimes I'll uh, reply on there. They usually don't reply back, so it doesn't really particularly matter, this particular dude. Um, and my like to dislike ratio on that, yeah, it's it's definitely a lot of dislikes, but um, I I don't particularly see why. I mean, I, I get it. You wanted this probably, you, you saw the title, you were like, oh, let's click on it. You didn't read the description, which a lot of people don't. I, can, I understand that. I don't always read the video description myself. And you assumed I had the guitar. So maybe I, I'll definitely admit it was a little clickbaity in that particular instance. But, you know, I talked about the features, what the guitar is made out of, my first impressions, and I, it was perfectly fine, you know. I, I, I looked at the guitar, I put a link down to him so everyone can see them as well, and it was nice. This guy I like. I'm going to shoot shout this guy out, the DD Files. Uh, he does some cool stuff on his channel too, playing a lot of guitar. And um, almost every single video I make, he, he's like, cool man, cool show, cool guitar, uh, thanks man. You know, he doesn't ask for anything back. This guy's been around forever, and I, I just appreciate this guy. He is probably, I don't know if he's like my number one fan right now, um, but I definitely greatly appreciate him taking a look at all my videos. He usually ends up leaving a like on there, too. Uh, so, the DD Files, thank you. Uh, and let's talk about this guy. So I put up a video saying help the guitarologist out a while back that got a few thousand views. And people are just blatantly attacking him. I think this got a lot of dislikes as well. Um, I don't really know his whole situation, but uh, let's just read the comments for this. Uh, maybe if he didn't go out of his way to attack YouTubers that he's jealous of, he would be doing better. Uh, his low class crass rants are tiresome. This is why I subscribe to his channel, and I suspect this is why others have too. Get a real job like the rest of us. I'm not a charity. Now, 
a lot of these guys are putting a lot of hours in this, and I mean a lot of hours. So, as I said, I don't know the whole situation behind the, the Gitoologist. I honestly, I don't even know his actual name. Um, it's been a little while since I've watched his video. Some of them I like, some of them I don't particularly care for. Um, but who knows? I might do a separate video about this, too. But he, he does. You know, he tries to create some drama here and there, uh, as I have in the past as well. And, it, you know, it gets a lot of views, in all honesty. Um, I do a video like this, like, look at this, Guitar Adventure Episode 1, I tried doing something different, you know, exciting, uh, I was going to go to a garage sale to, ch to check out a guitar that I might have been able to get for free, and basically nothing happened, um, I was not able to get it, so I just kind of made a little video about it, talked about the new Harley Benton pedal, uh, this is another one picking on him, this guy again, look at this, uh, make it gent, <laughs> I don't even have that guitar anymore, cool video, my friend. Um, oh, let's let's go to the OCD video. <laughs> There's some nice dislikes. I don't care what he said, stupid or not. His company is one of the pedal maters. Absolutely, you should. Awesome guitar video. I like him now. He should be his killer. I want to trade both deans. Uh, this guy probably bad. Yet you give recommendations. Pickups are not rocket science. A magnet with wires. Um, I haven't played. I've played a handful of Harley Bettons. Um, I haven't played that particular headless one yet. Again, this is one of those videos where the dislikes are very high. Again, um, and basically the issue with that was I, I don't like Harley Benton pickups. I, I've never picked up a guitar. A Harley Benton. Um, some of them, yes, I, I'm. They are decent playing guitars. So I'm not knocking them, but there, there's never been one where I picked up the Harley Benton pickup unless it had EMGs in it or uh, Fishman Fluence or some other, you know, uh, name brand sets. Um, I've never picked up one up and thought, "Wow, this is the greatest thing ever." You know, it's 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 not bad. It doesn't sound terrible. Um, the, the original ones, like the original Harley Bettons, they, I did not, I really, really hated the pickups in the original Harley Bettons when they were first boosting them out. Uh, they have come a, a long ways, though. Roswell, their home brand, it's getting better. But it's not something that pops out to me that says, wow, so usually I recommend uh, swapping out the pickups. Because you can definitely find something better for a reasonable price, too. You know, uh, GT, uh, Guitar Fetish has decent pickups. Dragonfire, uh, Wilkinson, those are all pickups on the cheaper side. That do sound pretty decent. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, here's another one. I don't really want to come up with it, but... But I wouldn't say the electronics are garbage because of what you've heard some people say. No, it's not what I've heard some people say. It's what I've played. I, I, as I said, I, I've gone to a few guitar shops. I've never had a new one in my hand. I, I will admit that. I've never had a new Harley Benton in my hand, but I've had a few stock ones. And the electronics, the pickups, and the ones I had, they were nothing to brag about. As I said, were they usable? Yes. Were they anything to brag about? Not particularly. Let's see. Let's just keep going on. Here we go. Too much. Oh, here's one on the don't buy stainless steel strings video. Too much BS for me to start being specific about it. Check your facts. Hit nickel plated steel strings, recrowning instead of refretting. No, I knew what I was talking about in this video. Uh, grinding a fret is a long process. Grinding a fret is not a long process if you have a lot of pressure on the fretboard and you're using stainless steel strings on nickel frets because it will wreck your frets fairly quickly. Um, and basically, yeah, so he's like, it takes years, blah, 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 you know, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of probably just showing you all the haters right now. Who cares? I'm done with done with them and glad I bought my Egan while they were still cheap. Hardly surprising. I mean, that was going to happen. I want to find, uh, let's see, get a job, Snowflake. Brad's wife threw him out. Brad's a loser. Uh, these are more people, like, yelling at me on <laughs> the OCD. Um, some of them are nice, though. As I said, it, it definitely depends. And about Chapman. Cool video. Reason Fender replacement next. I don't mind dressing frets. Good luck. But, you know, as it's it's just some of, I just feel like I have to talk about some of the hate. Because I get a lot of hate. Like this. Are licensed Floyd Roses bad? Uh, and then I just kind of talked about it, went into a description, and this video got like a bunch of dislikes, and I'm just sitting here like, why? I'm going to click on this video again for everybody here taking a look at the video, but it, it's just bad. Like, how... <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's like I liked it myself, so that way it would, it would be even in this particular video. Um, I don't know exactly what the likes do and don't do, but, um, like, why is all the dislikes on this video? Like, I, I, I don't understand. 
Well, tell me what I can't. If you want me to provide you content, and then you're just gonna show up and dislike my videos every single time, why, why do you keep coming back to my channel? I mean, in retrospect, the YouTube algorithm will still show my stuff. Just for just so you know, you, you dislike my channel, it's still popping up. I mean, I think the most disliked video I have is that Rob Chapman one. If I just scroll back some, nice video. Let's see here. Let's let's just go. And it's just a lot of my videos, just constantly, their like to dislike ratio is bad. And you know what, I mean, I can sit here and complain about it all I want, but the only thing that's going to change is uh, me having to change some content. Let me go here, let's go to my channel. I'm going to go, I'm going to show you probably the video most people know me for is that Rob Chapman video I made. Here we go, 15,000 views. Look at that dislike ratio. Holy crap. The, in retrospect, this video I learned from because uh, I had a lot of misinformation. I didn't look into everything initially, and everybody just got on the crap train. But it is what it is, you know. I'm going to keep making videos, doing my thing. I'm not making it, doing this to make money at this point in time because I'm nowhere near that point. I got 133 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> I got no advertisements, no sponsors, no nothing. Um, if I get there, cool. If I don't, well, I just enjoy making the videos, putting the information out there. And uh, new, you people, everybody else watching this video, you will you will do with the information in my videos as you will. And then that's all I really have to say about that. And I think that's where I'm going to end it. So my name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.